The ice shelf holding back the Doomsday Glacier has a new threat rising from below. The latest high-resolution model reveals spinning ocean structures forming in the Amundsen Sea and driving straight into the underside of Thwaites. Each one runs up to 10 kilometers wide and gathers strength where sharp density contrasts collide offshore. Once formed, the rotation lifts warm, deep water toward the ice roof. A single event in early June demonstrates the punch. The vortex makes contact with the Thwaites ice front, slips under roughly 350 meters of ice, and forces an instant jump in vertical heat flux. Background values near 10 watts per square meter rise to more than 100. Melt climbs from 46 to 59 gigatons per year across four days. Temperature and density slices in the model show the warm lens rising and spreading inside the cavity, while melt briefly reaches triple the local average. Eight intrusions appear during the nine-month simulation window. Each one delivers a fast hit to the shelf that restrains the Doomsday Glacier. The sensitivity test pushes the warning further. A 10% rise in meltwater strengthens sub-mesoscale activity by 4%. A 50% rise strengthens it by 15%. Fresh meltwater sharpens buoyancy fronts, and sharper fronts spin harder, which pulls more warm water upward and primes the next pulse. Logs from the Amigos mooring near Thwaites show short pulses of warmer, saltier water rising within 100 meters of the ice base. The timing and structure align with the modeled intrusions. Sensor teams are preparing new under-ice instruments to capture these events continuously. The next step is determining how frequently these pulses reach the ice base and how much heat they inject as the region keeps warming. 